we're about five miles or so north out of Ojai on the 33, uh, heading in towards the mountains into Los, Los Padres. Um, and uh, the, right along the Ventura River, the Ventura River is, is right over there. Um, Attilaha Dam is just around the curve and a, and a bit up there. But what we're looking at here is one of the most common types of responses to um, wildfire recovery that we've seen, particularly in relation to infrastructure, roads and infrastructure. And that is these denuded hillsides that, that lose their vegetation, have a huge amount of sediment loss, soil loss, that either come down onto um, uh, waterways and, and clog those rivers and, and drainages, or onto roads, such as what happened here on the 33, and, and, and physically block the ability of cars and vehicles to get by, um, uh, or or that drop material straight onto uh, structures such as homes and, and businesses. So in this case, we lost this whole hillside and super denuded, and in the process is exposing a large number, a large fissure up here, there's a large number of boulders that were coming down. So the response is to throw in these so-called ring nets. These are essentially really heavy-duty, heavy-duty um, uh, cyclone fences you can think of them as. And so these guys are put in, they are um, established uh, onto the direct surface, and this will prevent a boulder. So if a boulder gets loose here, and if we, if we only had uh, areas to catch those, you could still have significant momentum that would bring those boulders down and, and wear against, potentially break those structures. So instead, um, the approach is to, is to put in um, a, a few uh, layers, a few terraces, and actually um, put that webbing directly onto the surface. So after laying down the slope a bit to make it a bit more manageable, uh, this stuff will help secure these large boulders. Now in some cases, this is the right response. In this case, such as an area that has um, had, had major uh, fractures, major loss of material down onto the roadbed. Right over here, we see a section that hasn't yet lost stuff. So up here, we, we're worried about um, more stuff coming down, but uh, we haven't really lost all the vegetation, so there's still some hope. So in this case, what we've done is we've put in um, another uh, series of, of ring, ring um, fences here. This guy is um, uh, off, so now if, if a boulder or, or other object does come down here, the idea is this will catch and this will prevent that material from hitting the roadway. Um, uh, this also provides something of a, a bit of a um, barrier and a, and a place to do some work off of the road. These are secured, um, obviously there, there's the fence themselves, there's some support beams, and then they're anchored through serious earth anchors down into the ground to counteract whatever stressors are coming in. Now these are, gonna these are both going to be the force of the um, objects hitting straight against the, um, uh, the fence as well as to keep these guys as, as well as to keep these guys stretched and, and pulled tight and so that's achieved through um, some lateral uh, securing of these large um, essentially earth anchors again that are uh, keeping everything in place so this so a combination of these two things of the retainment structure directly on the surface of the exposed slope and these other um, sort of catch-alls that will catch material that might be loosened and come down, such as this boulder here, uh, increasingly popular. So in this case, here on the 33, this has been a project done by Caltrans, uh, supported through money from uh, various disaster response funds, uh, both state and federal. Um, in other areas, such as, such as in Montecito, where uh, there was some funding, um, in that case, this was near a residential area, there, the funding for that was, was raised through um, a lot of uh, private donors. So however they're secured, um, these are increasingly popular. We first, in our area, we first really saw this um, in the wake of the Casitas uh, Springs fire in 2013. And, and those homeowners had a similar situation and they were beside themselves. They went to the ring net approach. And since then, we've seen this um, approach really explode across Ventura County and, and indeed Southern California in the wake of our wildfires. 
So these types of responses, while not perfect by any means, the best, the best response is to have a nice vegetated, healthy slope laid down that, that can't cause any problems ever. But in situations such as this in the 33, where we have a roadway that we just can't really move and we can't take the entire mountain down, uh, these, these types of ring nets approaches really do seem to be um, one effective measure to control uh, debris flows and sediment movement onto um, areas of concern. So ring nets are a useful product and we'll see more and more of them as time goes on, uh, unfortunately.